Hello, good evening, Evelyn. Good evening, welcome to your session number seven. How are you doing? Hello, well, if you listen to me. Good evening. Hey, good evening. All right, thank you so much for confirming. So welcome to your session number seven. Uh, we have uh, today a new section. This is number three. Okay, so welcome to this. We're gonna start our class today and let me share the screen so we can get started, okay? So uh, this is today's topic. Can you help me out please by reading the, the topic, Evelyn? Section three, could you do me a favor? Right, that's the topic, right? Could you do me a favor? Okay, what's another way you do or you use uh, to, to ask somebody to do a favor for you? That is not could you. Do you know any other way to ask a favor? Or how do you usually ask favors? Can you? Okay, maybe can you do me a favor in a set of could you do me a favor? Okay, is there any difference or is it the same in meaning? I think who is a formal way to use for us to do a favor. Okay, I like it. Very good. All right, is there any other way that we can use to ask for a favor to any, anyone, anybody class? How do you usually ask favors? You know, your friends, uh, from your teachers, your uh, colleagues, I don't know, at work, uh, from your boss. So how do you usually ask favors? Is it the same way you do it? or do you change any structure when asking favors? Anything else? Have you seen the, the exercises and the, and the ideas on the platform? What do you, um, what have you understood on it? No, not yet. All right, if you haven't seen it, it's totally okay. We're going to get started on that section today and we're gonna go over some structures, okay? So yesterday we talked about uh, how to make comparisons and we were uh, giving some examples. Angie, yeah, Angie. 
Hey, good night. Um, I have three questions about the platform. Uh, number one is 3.4. And another one is 3. Well, and the midterm, see. Okay, Angie, I don't know if it was my connectivity, but I heard a lot of interference. I just listened to the one 3.4, okay? Yes, Okay. 3.4, 3.12, and the midterm, see. Okay, I can see. I can see 3.4 is a topic we're going to study today, but we can go over that. 3.4 is about how to, how to make requests using uh, modal verbs and if clauses plus gerunds, right? So this is the, and what is the yes. question you have? Um, uh, if you don't mind sharing your <laughs> screen, that, that would be great. I have problem, problem. Okay, I have problem problem with all that three four uh, three point four. Okay, I see. Let me give me a second, please. And then, okay. uh, and I think I have problem with the internet reception. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so let me let me uh, let me go ahead and share the screen. Maybe this is gonna help a little bit. Okay, one second. Okay. Let me access to it. Okay. All right. Let me check. So this is 3.4. I'm accessing to it. All right. Yeah. Let me share it right now. This is the one. Okay. So I'm sharing the 3.4. And actually, that's today's topic. But we can go over, you know, that's not a problem. And maybe this will help a little bit on today's topic. And we have here that says, well, let's take a look at the example first. We'll complete the following request with model, uh, models, if clauses, and gerunds. That's it. Uh, you want to bury your, your coworkers under water camera. If you want to use a, uh, what, a gerund, you say, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your underwater camera. So let's take a look at the next one we have here. It says instructions to not write the whole request, only write the completion. This is important, the completion of it. Okay, make sure you use the correct spelling okay. and punctuation. All right, so this is today's topic and we have, uh, is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay is it, if? I'm sorry? Is, is it okay if I want to use your roommate's computer? Mm, I use, okay. Okay, I heard somebody saying, giving the example, right? Is it okay if I use? Ah, okay. Yeah, you want to uh, try if I use, okay? That must work, okay? Is it okay if I use after if clauses? We need to use um, a subject plus the infinitive of a verb. And in the okay. second one, we have would you mind? This is uh, would you mind plus gerund. Whenever we use would you mind, it's mandatory for us to use gerund for if it is a verb after this. So would you mind? And then what's the um, the idea? The completion of the idea we have would you like um you would like uh, for your neighbor to give you a right um, to work so you would like your neighbor to give you a right for to work so would you mind and then uh what's the completion you know let's mm -hmm. think about a possible possible completion if you would like your neighbor to give you a right to work how would you say it? Would you mind? And then how would you complete this? Would you mind? And you want to ask for the favor. Would you mind? What is the germ for that best completes the idea? So let's take a look at the verb. If I say, would you mind? And then we have this verb right here, give. 
the sitcom, the ah, sitcom yeah. is the idea. Would you mind giving me a ride to work? Would you mind? Uh, then we need to use the 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 gerund for. So basically, um, I think we're gonna go over this topic like now. And after, if you have like any question after I have explained a little bit more on this, then we can you know maybe uh, double check. I'm gonna share with you uh, the two examples just sold. So would you, the first one we said that it is if I use your computer, let me send your, let me send it to you so you can have it. Let me send it to a chat. So this is number one, if I use your computer. And number two, like I said, it's gonna be, uh, would you mind in this case, giving me a right to work or that can be one option. Let me send it to you. So basically, these are only the completion of the ideas. I sent the examples, I mean, the possible solutions to, to your, um, to the chat, okay? So you can see them. If you add or, or if you enter the information, like if you enter the full information, it's going to, it's going to say that it's incorrect mm -hmm. because it, it only requests for the completion of the sentence, the idea. Maybe with, with those two examples, you can have a clearer idea about it. If this doesn't help, I'm going to go over the, this topic like today, and then we're gonna, then tomorrow we can discuss about this. Guys, if you have any other question in regards of any exercise in the platform, besides these two ones, I think Angie has other, right? You mentioned that you had this one and you have one on the midterm, I think, right? If it is the midterm today, yes, it's on 12. Yes, midterm. Uh -huh. um, C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, midterm, we can leave it for, for Thursday. And then uh, let's see. I think I have another one here uh, sent by somebody, Jose. Okay. Let's see, this is, which one is this one, Jose? Just give me a hand by telling me which number it is. Jose? I, I'm reading. Really it's the exercise about. Exercise? Yeah, it's the exercise about um, unit three, exercise number one, uh, one. <laughs> I suppose. I don't remember very well. But is the, but is the exercise that you were trying to resolve? That's the same one. And the, yeah, in the same one. After. Let's see how many friends. Let me locate. No, but the one I was trying to resolve is not this I, one. I share I share to to a screenshot. The first one is in the is, is the exercise in which I need help. And the second one is there 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 are the answers where you can mm -hmm see the, the solution for the exercise that you were discussing with Angie. Okay, okay. Oh, I see you have sent many. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is the other one. Three point two lines and two I'm trying to locate the ones in here. So, but uh, did you need to tell me the, ex let me see if I can find it. This is requests, right? In request, request. Um, and the one you send, which is, which says, would you want to use, no, but I can't, I can't find the one you have sent. I, just tell me the number that will help a little bit. You need help, you said, or you just wanted to share the exercises with uh, the with Angie because I don't get it. I see many many uh, many screenshots in on the chat. I see one that says, "Could could you ask Tony?" That's the one I see here. But then, well, the exercise, I I, the exercise in which I need help is three point twelve. I I suppose we are going to study today. 3.12, oh, that's oh. Way, way beyond, right? Oh, I can see. Oh, okay. 
So I'm just I'm just starting uh, this one on on the 3.0 and you guys are finishing the the module. <laughs> okay, I uh, mean oh that's the, the reason. Co yeah. the, co mm -hmm. the coordinator were asking to finish all mm -hmm. session one, session two, session three, and the midterm as well. But session three is not, it's not for, is it for today? Today is what. If you if you if you can see actually today is class number seven, right? And that that means that we don't, we need we still have tomorrow because it's first two weeks and tomorrow night, right? And then um, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but but we I, I received a message too mm -hmm. to tell me that today needs to mm -hmm. Be get my my scores mm -hmm. with session one, two, and three, and midterm. The midterm, okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you if, if you like, let's let's solve the the midterm. If that's the that's the, let's go over the ones. And I think I found that I found the ones uh, Jose was asking for. So the one is says, could you ask Tony? I'm just looking at the on the at the screen you sent. I just says, could you ask Tony? And then we have could you ask Sophia, right? Um, and yes. then we have, um, would you ask Sophia? And then we have a blank. Uh, Sophia, are you going to, are you going to the party with Jeff? Okay. And then how do we make it? Because this, the point in here is how to make indirect and direct requests. In this case, if yeah. it is, if it is uh, an indirect request, you want to say, uh, would you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff? Like that. If uh, if she's going, if okay. she's going, if like that, it, it must work. If she's going to the party with Jeff, or if she is going to the party with Jeff, and then uh, Sophia, are you going to the party with Jeff? That's it. So basically, you just need to enter if she's going to the party with Jeff. Try that one and let me know if it works, please. You can enter the the. Let me. I think I'm gonna share it with you. If she's going to, let me see if I can type it for you. Try this one and let me know if it works at a specific okay. one. And then what's the other one? Let me see. Uh -huh. um, if, she if she's going, going, right. Yeah, if she's going. This is it in, doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. It, it doesn't, does work. doesn't work. It doesn't. It's negative. Okay. It that's it, negative. If she's going to it work, work, teacher. It doesn't. That's the that's the one. That's the right. Does it work? It is right. It is right. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yes. It, can you try deleting any space in in between? Maybe that 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 could be the change, Jose. And then um oh. or or maybe try with uh try. Maybe not with the apostrophe. That's another problem. Sometimes, just make it like full form. For example, if she is going to the party with Jeff, don't write she's because sometimes the apostrophe is you know is a mistake. And then number four, would you ask Mario? Same thing here. Would you ask Mario? Don't use weather here. We might use weather in other in other situations, but in this one we don't need weather. So if he's going to give Tony a gift, if he's going, could you ask uh, Mario if he's going to give Tony a gift, or it, or if he is both? That must work. Try this one. Try that one to see see if it really works. And then let's see. We have. Oh, oh. I think this one was sent by, let me see this. this one. Oh, this is Angie's one, and then Jose already sent the answer. And what else we have here? I think meter C. It makes me happy when a friend takes me out of lunch. This one. Oh. Letter C. Makes me happy. This is the one you you're sending. I think somebody already answered, right? If I'm not mistaken, uh, I think it makes me happy when somebody. Okay, 
in this one is uh -huh. that, it doesn't work that works oh that works okay so yeah. then try then try i think who was asking somebody was asking this i think it was angie right so angie can you try the one uh, gustavo sent it says it makes me happy when my when a friend takes me out this is the structure we study right first we have uh, the it and then that clause uh, when a uh, variable clauses well um so thank you everyone do you have any other any other that you want to go over maybe we can clarify uh, the question or maybe we can have some time to go over the topic today I didn't know you were asked that. As a matter of fact, I haven't received any message. And mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, they give us until what? Uh, if it's too weak, maybe um, what happened is that they don't know that we had a, an extra, I mean, that we had to postpone the class. Maybe that's the reason. But they were the one who scheduled the class. I don't really get it. But then it's OK. At the end is what they, what they say, right? So let's move on. I'm going to go over today's topic. And uh, if you have questions, just stop or in interrupt me at any time. And I'm going to go over any specific item on that meeting that you might have. Okay, thank so, you. all right, thank you for asking. Let's move on then guys. Uh, we almost, I was asking for ways to, to ask for favors, right? Somebody to ask. Uh, asking favors and then we have um, well this is the objective i'm gonna go a little bit uh you know fast because i can see you guys already working on this and then um i think you guys already saw a video which we have i'm not gonna play it because i can see you guys away you know uh be uh, forward on this and then we have a video um there is there are two ladies you know one asking the other for a favor and this lady uh, leaves her daughter in her house and blah, blah, blah. Well, that was the topic. But then, um, so share, uh, talk to me guys, which are the favors that would bother you in, um, the most and which would bother you the least? Is there anything um, that you can share with me? Open your mic and talk to me, please. Maybe one or two participations. Everybody has personal, you know, opinions about these two questions. So what can you tell me about it? I can see there are no participations on this topic. It's because you're working on your midterm, maybe. Well, um, Let's talk about this then. Request with models and if clauses and gerunds. We have, um, I need a volunteer to read uh, the first one. We have from formal to more formal. And this is the topic you, uh, you guys were asking for. And uh, let's see, who wants to read the first, uh, the, first, uh, the first three ones? Okay, Angie, please go ahead. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Thank you so much. In this case, what I want to point out from this is the structure. Is it okay if, and then we have a subject and the infinitive verb. Is it okay if, and then you, you wanna say, if I do this, if I do that, this was one of the questions that you were asking for the structure and how to use it, right? And then um, what about if we use if, but we had mind here. Let's see, uh, Joel, can you please read the next, uh, the next three ones in here? Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Thank you so much. As you can see here, we have another structure. We have, do you mind if, and then same thing, we need to use the, the subject and then the infinitive. And there's a very a slight change on the tense for the next two one. We have, would it be okay if I picked? We don't use a simple present, we use simple past. 
the reason is easy because this makes it more polite and that's the way uh, we want to use any verb regardless of the meaning or intention so it must be in past form and then we have would would you mind f we have F, same thing. We have to have the verb in the past form. Now, um, this is what basically um, when I needed to say, and then we have mind if the verb, if we have no subject in between, our verb must go in ing form. And this is the example. Would you mind letting me use your laptop? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? And then, um, I wonder if I could borrow some money. This is another indirect way to ask. And then we have, I was wondering if you'd mind. This is the example. We have, this is a very common one. Okay, I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your uh, car. Now, after mine, we have a verb, must be John for. Okay, that's mandatory. After mine, we have if, in the subject, we need to use uh, the verb in the past, particip past participle or the simple past. Now, um, I think you have like, um, I would like to know if you have any example or any question about these, any idea that, that you want to share, but I would love to hear example without, you know, these, or let's say with other verbs that are not the ones I have on the screen just tries to stick to the formula we have here. So maybe you want to type in, if you don't want to talk, fine, I understand that, but then chat on the chat. Chat is, is uh, also available for these interactions. So I will give you two minutes. I'm going to be reading your examples. guys. I'll give you two minutes. Let's see if this time we have some uh, volunteers to participate. Teacher, you want you want you want us to create one center for each one or one I, I would love those? I would love to to read examples only with the last ones. Uh, thank you for asking that. Uh, what about if you okay. um, if you try to create maybe with would it be okay if would you mind if uh, would you mind plus germs? I wonder and I was wondering which are really formal. Maybe try to use any of this structure, the one you like the most, and share maybe one or two examples. Not all of them, it's too much because the, you don't have much. Okay, time. thanks. Thank you for asking. Let's take a look at the examples we have here. I have one from Gust. Now, would you mind explaining? Let's just say three, three point three. Um, is that a question or you? Okay. Um, example. <laughs> Using as a okay. example. Makes sense, right? <laughs> okay. I was wondering if you'd mind. I like, I, actually, this is the one I like the most, Emma, because uh, I, I was wondering if you'd like, if you'd, if you'd like, if you'd mind letting me use your camera. That's really formal, really formal. I think we, we, when we're speaking like daily, we don't usually use that. But if you see, if you hear somebody using it, you say, well, that person is really formal when, when he or she's speaking. Would it be okay if I use, if I use, if I use your um, card tonight? I think we don't, we don't want to, um, we don't want to uh, lend that, right? Would it be okay if I used your card tonight? Yes, okay. 
Okay, good. And then we have Jeffrey says, what? Let's see, I was wondering if you'd mind giving me a day off on Saturday, right? Because it's your boss, you wanna be very formal. All right, good, thank you so much. Let's move on. Let's move on this same topic. And these are I the have ones. A question. Yeah, go ahead, what's your question? It's about my example. I not pretty, I'm not pretty sure if I have to use to after me or just. Oh, dear, the one. Let me see, let me go. Ah, the it says I was wondering if you lend me if you, I was wondering if you'd mind letting me use your car. Yeah, did, I didn't see. Did I say to use? And actually, was I? Let's let's let me read it once again. Because this is the key. This I have learned this that if it doesn't, if it sounds right, it makes sense. So that's what what experts say. If English sounds natural then it makes sense let me read it for you i was wondering if uh, you'd mind letting me use your car i was wondering if you'd mind letting me to use your car when i add to it sounds a little bit unnatural so i would say delete you the delete the two and say it like i was wondering if you'd mind letting me use your car sounds really good so delete the two to connect because we have the object in between i would say maybe if there were no objects in between then we might need to use two to connect the other action but in this case i would say i was wondering if you'd mind letting me use your car sounds more natural that's my answer for you delete the two okay only when you want to connect another another verb to an existing one where there's nothing in between, then you might want to use to, okay? Um, so that's what I can tell you, okay? And then, what else do I have here? Daniel, uh, would you mind sitting with your, would you mind sitting with your brother tomorrow morning? The structure is okay, but then I just, I'm trying to understand the, the intention here. Would you mind sitting with your brother tomorrow morning? to talk, to plan something. Would you mind if you, would you mind if you, and then we need to say that spoke calmly to the kids, okay? If you spoke kindly to the kids, okay? I like it, no, no, nothing to be what aggressive, nothing to be in a rush, okay? Sounds good. Just the question mark is missing here, okay? And then, what other examples do you have for, for with this this uh, structure? No other examples, okay? So let's move on then. Let's move on. Let's see. Um, we have when we talk about modal verbs. It's not only could, the one we have here, of course, we can also use other model verbs that we have learned, right? And we have can, could, and would. And then the, when, it, when we talk about if, in this case, if clauses is because we need to have if in the, in the, um, in the sentence. Would you mind if, uh, would you mind if you spoke Mm -hmm. Would you mind paying my bills? Okay, that's a very really polite way of asking somebody to do you know, a favor, right? For you, okay. So we have these these three main focus, three main purposes or or objectives for this lesson: talking with modal verbs, if clauses, and then gerunds. And then this is what we've been talking: gerund forms. We have to have a mind plus ing form. Okay, that's mandatory. Now let's move on. Some other ideas, and this is on the video, and I want to hear you speak in the language by using this situation, okay? Because it's different, right? It's different. And if, it, if you can formulate any, like, I mean, all these structures using the same scenario, that would be great. So you want to borrow $20 from a friend, and I want you to think how you can do it. Maybe stick to these uh, options that we have given you, 
And then let's practice. How would you say it? I know often it's not that formal, but then for practicing purposes, we can do it like all these, all these ways, like formal, formal, and more formal. Okay, so maybe you just wanna go ahead and speak uh, because if we write it down, it might take longer. So anybody to share? I'm gonna give you, uh, the point is this, use the structures given already, all of them. So keep in mind, the, the point is borrowing $20 from a friend. Now let me go back. We have these options. So how can you say from less formal to more formal? Because um, this is like true that we have friends uh, that we get along really well, but we respect each other because I have really good friends who are um, what well, really good friends, but we're colleagues. We respect each other. Even we call ourselves being being like uh, this age and and he or being a man. I always call him like we call him like usted. We don't say boss, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that we can treat each other like boss or or two which in our culture, when you say boss, is that you have a lot of trust or confidence with someone. I want to hear Joel. Thank you for your participation, Joel. So what, do you, what can you tell me with this structure? $20. Okay, using that situation, is it okay if you borrow me 20 bucks? Okay, that's the way you would say, right? Is it okay if you, is it okay if, uh, if I borrow, right? Because you want the money if I borrowed. Is it okay if I borrowed um, this money? Because actually when you use borrow, it's because you are doing the action. You are the one who's taking the, the money. And then uh, lend me, that means maybe so the structure. Would be exactly, like if I, if I oh, lend, okay. you take it. If I borrow, I take it. It's like right. before and after, I, I always get confused. <laughs> no, it's okay. Actually, I see. I don't know if, if, if it was you who said it like in the first classes or somebody said it like that. Why uh, before is this and after? It's like, sounds like very opposite, but then maybe. Yeah, but Bavro, you do the action. You take the money and lend, uh, the other people take it, right? That's why when you want to use lend as if you are taking that thing, the the request, you change the structure. Uh, you lend me, but I borrow, right? You lend me. So that's a little change we need to make. Okay, one more opinion, and then we're going to move on some, so about some other examples and ideas. Jeffrey, what do you have? Yeah, I was wondering this part because in the first say, can I borrow your pencil? And I know that borrow is when I take some something of other. And in this case, for example, the minute that I am taking the pencil of my friend, but can I say, can I borrow you twenty dollars? No, then it it'll be uh, so. Can I borrow you? Sounds weird. Can you lend me maybe? or I can lend you, but borrow you are the one who's making the action. So the color, that's the, that's the name, the collocation or the, the correct structure is, uh, I borrow, I borrow, and that means that I take the things with me. If I lend, I don't take it. It's somebody else taking the thing with them or with him or with her. So that's why um, let's not let's not make it more uh, confusing. Stick to this. I borrow. Can I borrow? I take it. And then uh, can you lend me? So that's the same thing. Now um, I can lend you something, but I cannot borrow you something because if I do that, that means that I'm taking it with me. So because borrow in Spanish is tomar prestado. Right, that's the translation for borrow, okay? And that, it won't make sense if I, if I wanna use it as a lent action, okay? Um, would it be okay if I, if I gave you, gave you the report on Friday? 
So the, in this case, the, the tense Jose is um, gave, instead of giving, giving is the past participle. So it's past, simple past. Simple past, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, simple past. Angie? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. There are some other ideas that I want to share with you. I want to move on. There are more, uh, there we, we're going to have more time to, to participate. Uh, well, we have said this one, and I want you to, well, these are some other practicing that we have on the video. And then maybe I, I want to give five minutes to go over this. Uh, let me some money for a soda. Return this book to the library for me. Let me borrow your, um, this is different. Let me borrow, that's different. Because uh, let, me, let me borrow your math homework. Can I look at the magazine you've, been, you've, you've finished reading? So um, let's take into consideration the first two one due to time. So how can you uh, tell me any example with these structures? Uh, I would love to hear the ones who haven't participated. There are some of you who are really quiet today. Maybe something is wrong. I don't know if your ex, you know, called you or what happened to you. You simply are not in the mood. You feel like as if you don't want to participate today. I mean, just uh, say something. I mean, this is not an obligation, but I think if you're connected because you are interested in, otherwise you would be having a great time sleeping, you know, watching TV, watching a movie, uh, the, uh, whatever. So if you're here, it's because you want to listen to the class, I think. So please participate. I expect so. Okay. Maybe, um, let's see. If you're here, let me see if I can choose some people. We have Francisco, we have um, Daniel, Jessica, Reina, Chilling, just there. I don't know what you guys are doing. Uh, Insta Ford asked us to ask you guys to have the camera on, but sometimes it's just like, I don't feel like doing this. You are adults already. But then I want to know if you want to participate in these examples. Maybe I'm going to give you two minutes. Let's go over. No participation. Use the chat then. If you want to talk, use the chat and send me your examples. It will be okay if we say, would you mind returning these books to the library for me? I like I like that one. Thank you so much for your participation. I really appreciate that, Jose. Uh, would you mind returning, right? Would you mind returning these books to the library for me? I like that one. Thank you so much. I can see some other people sending their examples here. And then we have... Um, Let's see, is it okay if you lent, lent simple pass? Um, would you mind lending me some money for a soda? You can ask that to one of, one of your friends, right? Uh-huh, I wonder if you can return this book. Mm -hmm. let, let me worry. <laughs> okay, Daniel. I like that one. I like that sense of humor, I think. <laughs> okay. I'll take it with you. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Can you please return uh, these books to the library for me? Yeah. Please lend me your sunglasses for the coming weekend. All right. You see, man, this is really cool. I like when you start participating. Sometimes maybe this topic is, I don't know if it's confusing or too easy. You say, nah, I don't want to say anything. But then once again, I really encourage you to um, get involved in this. And um, if you know the topic already, let's bring it to the table. I'm more ideas. I always say this, that if you already know the topic, bring more things to, to, to the class and then make it like more interactive. 
by practicing, by opening your mic, by asking questions, by that's really cool. So let's move on. There are still some, some ideas that I want to share. Well, um, let's see. Can I borrow? I wanted to say this because uh, this is, was a topic we had, discussion we had earlier, the structure, right? Can I borrow your pen? And you lend me your cell phone. So this is the structure. This is the best way we can do it. I borrow or can you lend me? I'm taking a thing with me. And then once again, we have, uh, would you mind if I borrowed? And then would it be okay if I picked it up? So basically we have these past endings, okay? Don't forget that. Let's move on on these same ideas. I got some other ideas that you want to uh, maybe reinforce or maybe uh, review. And uh, this is not on the platform. Jeffer, do you have any question? Yes, teacher. Uh, when you when we use uh, apostrophe with D, for example, uh, uh, Jude, the apostrophe and the D is from Gould. Or that is a really good question. Let me let me go back. Uh, let me see where which one are because this is the key. When we have the apostrophe and the D and the verb that goes next is infinity or the base form, that is wood. But if the apostrophe plus D, the next verb is a uh, past participle, then is had. Okay, and the, the case we are studying, let me go back. Uh, if we have, let's see, I think we have, let's see where do we have one. I think I saw one. You can see this one. Yeah, we have one in here. Um, would you, my would, this is would, 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 because if we have a verb that is in base form, then it's would, it cannot be had. Because when we have had, like in the in the case of past perfect, we also have that apostrophe and D. For example, I uh, let's say I had uh, told you not to do it. For example, blah blah blah. And then you can say I I told. But then what makes the difference? Because the tense in is the past participle. If it is past participle, then uh, that apostrophe plus D refers to had as a past perfect. But when we have a uh, past perfect, but, but, but when we have the, um, what do you call this? I plus, and then we have, let's say, uh, the verb is in present, for example, this makes a difference because the tense is in present, it must be would, would tell. So that, that's something that we have to pay attention to. I think what's next is what makes a difference, the verb tense. If once again, if it is past participle, then it must be referring to, uh, to, the, to the would, I'm sorry, to the had because it's the past perfect. But if it is um, uh, infinitive verb, present tense is would. In this scenario we're setting, we're using the would as part of the, the request as modal verbs, okay? I think uh, that can help a little bit on this question, Jeffer. Um, I was kind of like redundant on this, but that's the only thing that I can say. Verb makes a difference, the tense of the verb. Uh, now, let's move on. Let's see, I wanted to say something else here. I think here it's okay. And then, uh, well, with this ones, uh, I think you want to write this down so you don't forget it. We have that after, is it, is it okay if, and do you mind if, you know, we have, uh, this is, okay, take a look at this, present tense, and then we have, do you mind if I use your CD burner? Maybe you want to write this down or a screenshot. Then we have one more idea. This one, okay. Let's take some time on this and I want you to write it down as well. Okay, I'm gonna, maybe you want to screenshot this one too.
take like some time, write these ideas down. Why is this important? Because uh, when we answer to this question, if you say yes, that means that you are denying the request. But if you say no, it's because you are granting, you basically grant the favor you are being asked for. So uh, write this idea down, maybe you wanna take one minute and I want you to practice with me, okay? Creating examples and practicing by um, answering, okay? Jeffer. Uh, sorry, teacher, could you uh, put the last slide, please? Mm -hmm. This one, this one? Yes. Thank you. I was taking a screenshot, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Now take this one. And let's practice with this one in here. We have like, uh, yeah, 10 minutes. I want you to create some, um, some examples with, uh, would you, uh, and would you mind and would it be okay? And then um, let's practice by answering this, um, you know, these questions. Okay, so let's think about possible scenarios. And then I would love to give you maybe, not, we don't have much time, but I would love to give you maybe three or four minutes for you to practice in pairs and creating a conversation in which you are going to be denying the request and one in which you're going to be accepting or, or granting a request using this structure, the one I'm showing you at the moment. I'm gonna give you, let's see uh, if you've already screenshot this one. Maybe you can share the last one, Jeffer, or maybe I can send it to a group. And then use this structure and uh, grant one favor and deny one. I think I'm gonna create um, groups of three in case someone is not participating, okay? So I'm gonna give you uh, three minutes or four minutes. Try to practice and then make, make it up like very short scenario, small scenario. And then we, we come back to, to the main session to do it, okay? So here we go. So I'm gonna say groups of, I think three. So in case, here we go.
And do you have this, Graham? Yes, I will send it in chat, but it, it is loading, reloading. Teacher, we have a question. Yes, I'm having problems too with it. What's the question you have, Jeffrey? Uh, we were wondering that if we have to practice, so we need to create new sentence. The point is creating one, uh, I said, create one uh, scenario in which you accept and one that you deny the favor. So the point here is to create one where you say no, when you mean you grant the favor. And when you say uh, yes, when you basically deny the favor, because that's the point. I think, um, if you can create one scenario, one conversation, that would be great. However, we don't have much time. I'm gonna call everyone to go to the main station and we're gonna see how we can create one at least because we only have five minutes, okay? Jessica, hello, Jessica. You, you stayed here, Jessica. Hello. Hello there, how's it going? Recorded. Okay. Emma? I think, do you guys have the chance to create one scenario of in which you deny or accept or grant a favor? Or did you just practice? Yes. We, well, we practice and we create it. Wow, that's really good. I like it. Okay. I would love to hear it then, but then let's wait. I think everybody just returning, let me see. Yeah, people are coming. So let's let's do it then. I want to hear your your ideas. Go ahead, please, with your peers. Jose, you first. <laughs> okay. Well, we 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 made a conversation something like this. We well. Emma, I ha had some trouble with my computer. I need to deliver a report this weekend. Would you mind lending me your computer on Friday? Well, no, it's okay. I lend you. I will lend you my computer. Just I will use it next week. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, so that's, that's basically by saying no, you're saying yes, right? That's, that's really good. Thank you so much, yeah. Emma and Jose, for, for sharing, okay? And then, um, well, this is the, that was the idea, right? The, we need to be careful on this. If you say yes, you're saying no. If you say no, you're saying yes because of this structure. So I want to wrap this up by saying, first of all, let me go back. We use as it if, uh, is it okay if, and do you mind if, followed by present tense. This is what we have said, keep that in mind. Don't say, is it okay if um, I went or if I took, no, right? You see, you use present tense, that's, that's for sure, that's mandatory. Then we have also said, that we have would it be okay and then would it would you mind we have to use past tense that's another idea and the last idea for today's session is this we only have one minute i want you to screenshot and practice this structure because we might reinforce this tomorrow a request with gerunds if we use if we use mind and then uh 
we use it like in plus zero, for example, would you mind letting me use your laptop? Okay. And then we also have wonder plus if classes. Okay. Maybe you want to screen this as well. I wonder if I could. I was wondering if you could, if you would mind lending me, letting me use your car. So these are the three main ideas that I wanted to point out, guys. A screenshot then, and then uh, we might go over some of them tomorrow again. And if you have any additional question, I will appreciate if you can let me know um, tomorrow at the beginning of the class. So that will be it for today. Have a great day and see you. Great night and see you tomorrow if God gives us the chance to do it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.